Samsung is jumping into the budget tablet market with a 7-inch device that looks nearly identical to the company's Galaxy Tab Plus, but costs half as much. I definitely want to see what's inside this tablet. I'm Bill Detweiler, Head Technology Editor at CNET's sister site, Tech Republic, and I'm going to crack open the Galaxy Tab 2 7.0. Thankfully, Samsung didn't use any hidden or tamper-resistant case screws on this tablet. To open the device, you just pop off the back cover. Now, I used a thin metal tool to start the process and then switched to a plastic spudger as I worked my way around the case. Once inside the case, I found an incredibly clean hardware layout. In fact, it's one of the best internal tablet designs I've seen. There's a single circuit board, each component is attached to the main PCB with a snap-on connector, and with the exception of the display, nothing is held in place with adhesive. In fact, my only complaint about the device's construction is that the display isn't easily separated from the frame. Now, let's take a closer look at some of the internal hardware. Like the Galaxy Tab Plus, the Tab 2 7.0 has a 4,000 milliamp hour battery, two speakers, an IR blaster, and 7-inch PLS display with a resolution of 1024 by 600. This isn't the highest resolution display among 7-inch tablets, but it is the same resolution as the Kindle Fire's display. Samsung replaced the Plus's 2-megapixel front-facing camera with a VGA one, but the 3-megapixel rear camera remains, just without the LED flash. Now, as for the tablet's engine, Samsung used a Texas Instruments 1 GHz dual-core 4430 OMAP application processor, which is mounted underneath the unit's 1 GB RAM chip. Now, this is a step down from the Galaxy Tab Plus's 1.2 GHz Samsung Exynos 4210 processor, but as with the display, this chip is also used in the Kindle Fire. Now, rounding out the Tab 2 7.0's other chips, are an 8 gig Samsung EMMC memory module, Wolfson WM1811 audio codec, and Broadcom BCM4330 wireless transceiver. So how does the Galaxy Tab 2 7.0 stack up against other 7-inch tablets, like the Galaxy Tab Plus and Amazon Kindle Fire? Well, as Eric Franklin pointed out in his CNET review, this tablet offers an excellent value and a full Android 4.0 experience that no other tablet can currently match for the price. At $249, the Tab 2 7.0 is $50 more than the Kindle Fire, but the Samsung device lets you expand the memory to 32 gigs using a micro SD card, and it can function as a TV remote. On the other hand, the Fire puts the power of Amazon's online store in the palm of your hand. Now, comparing the tablet to other 7-inch devices is a bit trickier. Does it have the processing power of the Galaxy Tab Plus? Well, no, but the user experience is still good, and at half the price, you get a lot of bang for your buck. To see more Galaxy Tab 2 7.0 teardown photos, check out my full Cracking Open gallery at techrepublic.com forward slash cracking open. For CNET and Tech Republic, I'm Bill Detweiler, and this has been a Cracking Open of the Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 7.0.